Platano Games Network Cyberpunk 2077 running on the PlayStation 5. We had a new patch tonight, patch 1.04. It didn't list a lot of updates to the game's firmware, but developers don't like listing everything they adjusted because it just makes the game look that much worse. This game has been synonymous for being very buggy. I've enjoyed my time with it and I do think it, it feels better already with this new patch. The game, a lot of people are asking me, is it worth it? If you don't want to experience bugs and bugs will kill the experience for you, then it's not worth it at the moment. But the game, if it was polished and not in its alpha state, then this game would easily be a 9.5 type of game. The map is incredible, it's very dense, very populated. The biggest issues I've seen have been draw distance issues where the buildings don't um, load at their full resolution or pedestrians are appearing in the streets as you're passing them. I've had some instances where cops disappear as they're chasing me but I haven't experienced those to date thus far while playing this new patch. So now I'm just gonna get into it and cause some mayhem. I like this spot. I was at the spot yesterday. I was doing some parkour. <laughs> Let's do that again just because it's fun. I was using my vehicle to block traffic so that I can make a, a quick getaway and attack some people. But a lot of the issues can definitely be worked on and definitely fixed. If you want to see the game now and play it as early as possible, then go ahead and pick it up. Just expect it to be a work in progress. But I'm definitely satisfied with my purchase because I know the game is going to continue to get better. It already um, feels better. Alright, so here we go. This is going to definitely draw the attention of some ruthless police. It's a lot harder to make an open world game than a lot of people think. Alright, they're trying to shoot me from behind this wall. But that's my cue to get out of here. So let's keep on rolling. But as you can see, the game looks gorgeous. And this new patch has definitely improved um, the game's performance. So there's that. There was a police officer or somebody that saw me right now. I'm trying to see where. You saw some flickering right now. I killed these guys previously. There was a slight glitch right there that showed um, the guns dropping. Alright, let's see if we could get some action. I'm gonna get some cops on me to see how that plays out. You saw that little glitch where the hat it disappears when you're getting back on the vehicle and going back to third person. Alright, let's go back down this way. Okay, I'm taking a different way now. Let me go into the first person. I could ride the motorcycle better when I'm in first person. Oh, or not. I really love the handling of the vehicle so far. That's one of the more difficult things to nail in an open world game. Watch Dogs struggled for years before seeing some real improvement in Watch Dogs Legion when it came to the um, handling of the vehicles. But in this game, they play very smooth. They did a great job on that. And as I said, the city is glorious right now. I believe I'm in Little China. I'm seeing that after the patch, there's a delay when opening your menu. Okay, I'm actually in another area, Kabuki. 
so right now when the game starts you only have access to this district Watson or this area rather which has three districts within it north side waterfront and little China so I'm gonna cut back into little China but I do want to check out some of these um, question marks so let's let's track some of them oh look some poles I wanted to get into some trouble with them but right now let me check out this um, question mark we have but the game already feels severely improved a lot of these influencers as they like to call themselves and youtubers are going to try to show you the worst aspects of the game just because it brings them more revenue to talk bad about games you see that with the madden community as well as other communities so i don't like that I, i'm honest i've posted some glitches i've encountered but i do understand it's early in the game's um life cycle and it will be improved the phone calls are picking up without me even picking them up so this marker actually led me to an interior section which I think is pretty cool let me make sure these guys are not criminals alright they're regular people but I think it adds to the um, density of the city that you can enter a lot of the locations and they're layered with um, lower levels and higher levels let me try to pick this up whatever this is I found something very disturbing there in my live stream it actually appeared to be a <laughs> I don't even want to say it on this video but it was very inappropriate all right, so it led me here. We're gonna check out um, what's here. But as you can see, there's there's layers to the level. There's lower sections, higher sections. Oh, I can't even get in here yet. All right, so that's interesting. Definitely curious to see what's in there. And just because I like to play the bad boy, I'm gonna kill everybody in here. Well, this guy looks pretty cool. The way he's sitting. There's a lot of things that are very impressive about this game. Actually, let me see if I still have that item that I found. Because I'm not sure if I was able to save after it, but I do have the live stream. That's proof of what I found. I have a lot of new clothes. None of it really improves my stats too much. But I do like the look of this one, so we're going to equip this instead. And I did level up. Let's level up my technical ability. Just to see if I'm getting a little bit closer to opening those type of doors that I just encountered okay well I have no perk points available I have attribute points though I'm not sure what the difference is or where I can um, use them But let's get back into the game and let's kill everybody here. Let me see how that is because even that wasn't improved when it first launched. Um, the hand animations for taking out the gun sometimes will just appear. Two down. I'll spare the female. I've been watching a lot of Batman. Oh, Popo. I'm going to die. I'm out of hard difficulty. So I've been watching a lot of Batman Beyond recently. 
so I'm all for this type of cyberpunk future. See, where did this cop come from? Oh, come on. See, I got screwed there. Unless there was a police station up there, those cops definitely just spawned up there. Alright, let's check out a few more minutes. But the actual performance of the game right now felt really good and severely improved from the launch version. A lot of these patches, they have to get them approved by Sony, um, by their own publishers. So basically what that means is that there's an assault in progress. So what that basically means is that this patch that we're playing right now could have been worked on weeks ago. It could have been their intended launch patch and the game would have released much more smoother. But for whatever reason, it just has to go through the process of being released and released now. I don't know if they're going to have a problem with me walking through here. But they sh Apparently they did. Let me try to lure them to the cops. I'm gonna punch one of them in the face. She's kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna punch her in the face and then run. All right. Police, they're shooting at me. There's a lot of these crime scenes. I'm about to fuck up your whole day. I didn't even do nothing, bro. You see how corrupt they are in Night City? So there's a lot of these crime scenes that showcase just how bad the neighborhood is. All right. I'm trying to jump. I hope they're fighting each other. <laughs> I mean, they were both shooting at me for no reason. Nope, he's coming after me. But the game has fixed, with this latest patch, the game has fixed my biggest problem with it so far, which was um, the draw distance issues. It wasn't loading in the resolution for the buildings, the proper resolution, or some of the um, the pedestrians. Who are those guys? Alright, this cop is still chasing me down for no reason, so I'm gonna kill him. See, the game is playing a lot more smoother. I like these little interior sections. The map is perfect, I'm telling you right now. My only biggest issue with the launch version was the way some things would load in. Oh my god! I don't know where all these cops came from, but I'm pretty sure they weren't here. I'm just running, but I like that the map continues to allow me to move. Alexa, stop. Excuse her. Just imagine. I think one of the things they should work on, and obviously first they should work on just fixing the game. But one of the things they should work on long term is adding some kind of multiplayer component to the next gen versions because this map is just too beautiful to waste on one experience on one game the map is breathtaking a lot of people saw my video of the map and okay the menu loaded in pretty fast there they saw my video of the map and they were like oh the map is very small but I actually think it's large I've spent most of my time just in Little China and this side 
district kabuki just to, to kind of see the dense density of it and as you can see if you just look at this area you'll think oh this area is small but i just went through a labyrinth of um paths through the roof all right so you get a lot of grenades which i really like that Okay, I ran out of grenades. Oh, are they shooting me from the streets? Alright, look, I could continue to go up. Look at look at this man. And this is what I meant when I told somebody the city is very layered. There's a whole different city up here compared to down there and and that's throughout the city. It's just severely layered you don't see that in a lot of video games a lot of um, open world games keep you pretty much grounded and it's all about the landscape but this one has layers to the environment low sections high sections you name it all right I'm gonna go back to the section over here seems to have lost the cops all right so you see how those buildings are loaded in already I swear when the game first launched a lot of those buildings just a hundred yards away would still have not loaded in and that was my biggest issue in terms of immersion and getting into the game and that has been addressed in this first patch it's the thing that was bothering the, me the most so it's the first thing I was looking out for to see if they improved the way the area loads in and they definitely have okay who is this guy and why is he dead <laughs> already okay and who are these guys wanted for kidnapping and she's an innocent I want to get this guy I'm, I'm gonna shoot him in the face oh what what is he holding? It looks like a electrified bat. Maybe I just saw the electricity in my head. I don't have my health bar on, so I'm not sure how much is appropriate. Oh my god, alright. Did I run out of ammo for my automatic? You saw that little glitch when pulling out the weapon? That's some of the things that I was mentioning earlier. The gunplay is really fun. I had to mess with the remote because there was too much sway when just staying still. I don't know if that was a glitch within the game. Or my remote is starting to mess up, but I adjusted the, the the dead zones to improve that. But it seems to have been um, addressed with this patch because I could feel that there's less um, involuntary sway. I'm trying to kill this fat boy. You see how these little encounters can feel almost like a boss battle not to mention that the area itself is very artistic and very creative they really made a whole city I hope they update this game for years to come I wonder if I could throw his body let me just drop it All right, is there anywhere else to go from here? I saw people running. Oh, you could open this door. Interesting. All right, guys, so that was just a quick, 
quick little run of um, the new patch on Cyberpunk. I'm going to drive off to the sunset now. Oh, I didn't even see that there. I guess that's it for me. Unless I could drive off to the sunset. Yeah, these cops are throwing grenades in this city. And there you go. I've reached my demise. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. I'm taking requests. So let me know what you guys want to see. Peace.